Hello students, welcome to another video lecture on digital signal processing. In today's video, we will discuss how to design and FIR filter using window technique. And we will complete this filter design in 10 minutes. A low pass filter is to be designed with the following desired frequency response. HD of omega equals e raised to minus j to omega for modulus of omega less than pi by 4 and 0 for modulus of omega in between pi by 4 to pi. We need to determine the filter coefficients HD of n and H of n if the window function given is a rectangular window and the rectangular window is defined as 1 for n 0 to 4 and 0 otherwise. Also, we need to find the frequency response h of omega for the resulting FIR filter. We have the frequency response of an ideal low pass filter defined as hd of omega equals e raised to minus j omega into alpha for omega less than omega c and 0 for magnitude of omega in between omega c to pi. We compare the standard equation with the given equation. The given equation is hd of omega equals e raised to minus j to omega for modulus of omega less than pi by 4 and 0 for modulus of omega in between pi by 4 to pi. Now we compare equation 1 and equation 2 and by comparing we get alpha equals 2 and omega c equals pi by 4. Now we need to find hd of n for two cases. For the first case that is we need to find hd of n for n not equals to alpha and second case is we need to find hd of n for n equals alpha. We have by definition hd of n equals 1 divided by 2 pi integration of minus pi to plus pi hd of omega e raised to j omega n d omega. Now in this equation we substitute the value of hd omega which is equal to e raised to minus j omega into alpha. After applying integration to this term, we get the simplified term as hd of n equals sine omega c n minus alpha divided by pi n minus alpha. And this equation holds good for value of n not equal to alpha. In the given numerical, we have value of alpha as 2 and value of omega c as pi by 4. Now we substitute these values in equation 3 and hence we get hd of n equals sine pi by 4 n minus 2 divided by pi n minus 2 for n not equals 2. Now hd of n for n equals alpha is defined as omega c divided by pi and in the present numerical we have value of omega c as pi by 4 and after substituting this we get hd of alpha as 1 by 4 and in the given numerical we have alpha value as 2 therefore hd of 2 will be 1 by 4 therefore now let us down hd of n for both the cases hd of n equals sin pi by 4 n minus 2 divided by pi n minus 2 for n not equals 2 and hd of n equals 1 by 4 for n equals 2 and in the question they have mentioned window function as a rectangular window which has a value of 1 for n 0 to 4 and it has a value of 0 
for other values of n. The required h of n is defined as h of n equals hd of n multiplied by the window function. Therefore, we write h of n as hd of n multiplied by window function and as we know value of window function is 1. Similarly, for n equals 2, we have value of hd of n as 1 by 4 and the value of window function is 1. So, this defines h of n for the given numerical. Now, the next step is to tabulate value of hd of n, the window function and h of n for various values of n. In the given question, they have <coughs> said n ranges from 0 to 4. Therefore, in the equation of hd of n, we substitute value of n from 0 to 4 to obtain these values. And similarly, window function has been defined as 1 for value of n ranges from 0 to 4. Therefore, for all the values of n, we have window function as 1. Now, to obtain h of n, we multiply hd of n with the window function. Therefore, we obtained the required h of n. Now, the final step in this numerical is to find the frequency response of the FIR filter. And the expression to find the frequency response of an FIR filter is as displayed on the screen. Now, in this equation, we need to substitute the value of capital N as 5. Value of capital N is given in the question as 5. Therefore, we substitute in this equation the value of capital N as 5. After substituting the value of capital N as 5, we get this equation. And here, we need to simplify or solve this summation. After solving the summation, we get the expression as e raised to minus j to omega h of 2 plus 2 h of 0 cos 2 omega plus 2 h of 1 cos of omega. Now we substitute the values of h of 2, h of 0 and h of 1. Therefore, we get this as the final answer.